Hi, my name is Sagar Seth and welcome to Ask a Developer. Our first question is a two-part question which also comes from Matt. His question is, what is the concept of density independent pixels and why should Android developers use it? Great question, Matt. As everybody knows, Android devices have wildly varied pixel per inch resolutions. To aid the developer, the operating system offers density independent pixel unit of measurement. It is a virtual pixel unit equivalent to physical pixel on a 160 dpi device, which is also an mdpi device and the baseline density. It proportionally scales on higher and lower screen resolutions. DPI units make sure that your UI is looking consistent on different Android screens. Now part two of the question is, why should Android developers use it? Android applications are made with the assumption that the application will be deployed on different screen sizes. Now in order to make your layout look consistent across all the screens, you gotta make sure that they have the right unit of measurement on every screen. So for instance, on an MDPI device, one pixel is equivalent to one DP on a 160 DPI device. But on an HDPI device, which is a 240 DP, it will be 1.5 times. So you gotta use DP units in order to make sure that your buttons, widgets of different sizes and dimensions scale properly across all different screens. Our second question comes from Blair, who asks, what should be the criteria for shortlisting Android devices for testing purposes? Great question. Now, I would assume that you wanna target as many devices as you want, and you do wanna test your application on as many devices as possible. But the truth is, you just cannot. There are so many devices out there of different screen sizes, resolutions, operating system versions, manufacturers, it is just not possible. So how do we actually shortlist the number of devices that we wanna test our application on? First, you need to decide what operating system you're trying to target. And a simple internet search can give you the most popular devices available for that particular operating system. For phones, tablets, this data is readily available. Now comes the difficult part, which manufacturer? Every manufacturer has some different things about their ROM. Motorola's, HTC's, Samsung's, these are some of the famous Android devices available on the marketplace right now. And I, the reason I tell you to choose the famous ones is because these devices are gaining more momentum. For instance, if I am the developer and my application supports Ice Cream Sandwich and above, my list will be Samsung Galaxy Nexus, Motorola Droid Razor, the new Moto X, S4, and I will definitely cover different operating system, which is 404, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, and the latest one, which is 4.4. If your application supports 2.3 and above, I would add HTC Evo and Atrix to the above list. That's it for this Ask a Developer. If you have any questions or comments, tweet us with hashtag AskADev or leave the comments below.